everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ovina and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can win up to 3000 euros by just submitting your master's or your bachelor thesis. To talk about this topic we have a very special guest today. Her name is Noshaba Chima and she has two master's degrees. Both she finished in the type of one degree and both are in the field of computer science. And recently she has won Telecom STEM Award for Women um, by submitting her master thesis. So I'm going to be talking to her and I will be asking her some questions about how any of us can apply for this grant. What are the requirements? What is the procedure? And how does it work overall? So let's get to it. Hi Noshaba, thank you so much for joining me today and many, many congratulations for winning this grant. Uh, please tell us something about your um, research journey and how did you end up winning this grant and how any of us can apply for it. But yeah, first of all, just tell me, um, what is this grant about? Hi Alvina, thanks for having me on your channel. So the award is by Telecom and it's called the Women's STEM Award and basically how it works is that you submit your master's or your bachelor thesis in any of the five growth fields and um, this year their growth fields were artificial intelligence, cyber security, cl cloud computing, internet of things and networks of the future and in addition to that they also had a social impact award in any of these five categories. and. Um, uh, these growth fields change every year, except for AI and um, cybersecurity, which I think have always been there. And um, also the competition is international, so you can join from anywhere and submit your thesis, as well as your CV and a statement saying why you think you should win and what is novel about your thesis. In my case, my thesis was about um, um, virtual user testing using deep reinforcement learning. and um, the novelty was that it was the first work to to do user testing without any human movement data um, and solely relying on AI agents. And these AI agents were also trained using reinforcement learning, so again, no human movement data. Um, but rather how reinforcement learning works is that you give your agent a goal and if it reaches that, if it reaches that goal, then it gets a reward, otherwise it gets a penalty. And with this, it's able to learn like novel movements and um, yeah. So, and in addition, in addition to that, we also had a cumulative effort function for reinforcement learning. So basically in the graphics community, you also use, so in addition to the reward, you um, sometimes also have a cost function, which um, basically describes the cost of taking an action. For example, if you need to like, um, lift your arm, then the force or the torque that you need to lift the arm is used as a cost for this uh, for this action. Um, and they do this to um, obtain more like natural or like more efficient movements. However, the problem with this is that it doesn't account for um, uh, for cumulative fatigue. So basically, when you keep holding your arm, you naturally get more tired. However, uh, with this with, with this traditional approach, um, it's uh, it doesn't account for that. So because of this, we included a bio like we included a cumulative effort function from biomechanical literature, and uh, with this we can um, like train our agents even more efficiently, and um, the movements are also more natural than using these prior instantaneous torques or forces. And uh, with this model, uh, we can also predict uh, human effort um, without any human movement data. So where I see this going is basically that you can use this for um, like scenarios, like never seen scenarios before in user testing, for example, user testing on the moon or like under high pressure. Because if you think about this, um, like such in silico methods or like such like simulations um, would be like more accurate because you can obtain the torque or the forces directly from the engine rather than having to estimate them yourself in real life using complicated hardware or like CDs hardware, which um, in the end still isn't 
really accurate. Um, so that's why I think it's really impactful. That's perfect. So is it true that we can win up to 3,000 euros? And there is not just one winner, but there could be one winner in each category and the overall winner can win up to 3,000 euros. Uh, yes, that is correct. Um, in each category, you can win 500 euros. And if you are, if you are the overall winner, you can uh, get 3,000 euros. Um, this year, however, because the jury couldn't decide on one winner, they um, had two overall winners in the categories AI and cybersecurity. And um, they also had two social impact winners in the categories, also in the categories AI and networks of the future. Um, so as I already mentioned, I was in the category artificial intelligence and my master thesis also got published at CAI, which is um, the biggest computer human interaction conference in the world. And basically it's the HCI conference. Um, also, I'd like to mention that you shouldn't be shy to submit your bachelor thesis. Um, because uh, you still may be able to win because the winner this year was actually your bachelor thesis. And if you are a STEM student, um, but you think that your thesis doesn't really match any of the growth fields, um, you can like, I would like, I suggest that you like wait for next year and maybe like ask the jury if they would include your, like your area in the next year's competition. Or like if you, if you couldn't somehow like, um, like put your your topic in these five five growth fields, but um, want to join anyways. Okay, so my next question is, um, how does usually one know about this grant? Is it like every year? And every year, uh, I mean, like you said, every year there would be different topics in different categories, but usually AI is always there. So. Um, should I be checking the website all the time or some, or the university will inform you? So the university I'm at right now didn't, uh, unfortunately didn't inform me. I only knew about it from a previous university where I was at my bachelor's, where they advertised it every year um, in the emails during the end of the spring semester where most people finish their thesis. And um, I even, um, submitted my, my bachelor thesis but I didn't win so I tried again this year for with my master thesis and the submission date is always um, around March and the announcement is usually made during autumn which is um, usually the time where like most people start their thesis in Germany so you should definitely look into their website during these months um, you can just find it by googling women's, like telecom women's STEM award and um, also, if you missed it, you can still submit your thesis in the following year, as long as your thesis isn't older than 18 months from the date of your submission at, at, your, at your university. Thank you so much, Noshaba, for joining me today. So at last, I just want to ask you, do you have any suggestions or tips for everyone out there who are about to write their bachelor thesis or their master thesis? Um, so do you want to give them a message? Um, so I would like to advise everyone to write about something or like to research about something that they're really passionate about and um, what you really believe in because with this you can also convince others why um, this is something worth, uh, worth investing and why it should be published. And the best case is when you already have some sort of topic in your mind and you have already done some research about it and then may maybe even worked worked on it and if you have that then you can just go with this and uh, try to find a supervisor who's working in this area and try to convince him like convince them to um uh, of, of your idea and that way they actually don't even need to advise you that much and um like um you won't and you you yourself will be would be like working on it like basically non-stop and uh, because you're really interested in it and also the thesis won't be a drag to you because it's something that you're really passionate about so that's what I would like to advise everybody like try to find something that you really care about and then write about that that's it guys so I hope you like this video and I hope many of us would apply next year for this grant again so 
next time any of us can win. So till then, keep encouraging me, keep watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And till then, take care. Bye.